So let's practice uh, the uh, some more keyframing techniques using the idea of picture in picture. So I imported the video as well as a picture and what's happening is this picture is covering the video. However, with when you click on the actual picture layer on video 2 layer, you go to effect controls and you hit the little drop down for motion and uh, you can actually type in the scale value here. If you click off of it, you can even click and hold down the left mouse, and mouse button and scrub it to the left so until it's small. If you double click on this actual picture in the preview window, you can just move it over to the left and you can actually uh, play around and it automatically updates the position here. So if you actually hit the little stopwatch for scale, click on uh, stopwatch, it means that we automatically insert a keyframe. The current time indicator is at zero. I'm going to drag it a little bit to the right for a few seconds. And then I'm going to actually change the scale a little bit bigger. So when you do that, it automatically inserts a keyframe over here. So what's happening here is you've created some kind of animation. You scrub to the left with the current time indicator. And you can see that we're actually uh, changing the size of this picture and picture effect. Now this is interesting because if you scroll back to the beginning, <clears throat> you can also apply the same idea of keyframe animations with the position. So when I click on the position stopwatch, you can see there's a keyframe there, which means this is the initial position. You can scrub a little bit to the right, and I'm just going to make it uh, around two seconds. And then here, you just drag it to this corner. So now what's happening is it inserts another keyframe for you, and not only are we changing the scale of this uh, layer, we're also changing the position. So you can take this concept and really play around with it and you can even click on these keyframes and press delete if you want to undo your uh, your action. So congratulations, you now know how to do the picture-in-picture -picture effect and you have a little bit more practice with the idea of keyframe animations.